For years, world-class photographers Edward Weston and Ansel Adams patrolled the rocky coves and ancient cypress forests of Point Lobos for that perfect picture. Point Lobos State Natural Reserve has often been called the crown jewel of the California State Park System, and for good reason. This place oozes awe, and so wherever you go, whether that's across Whaler's Cove or to the south shore to Bird Island, Sea Lion Point, there's just so many beautiful places here, and it's, it's hard not to be impressed. Alec Knapp is a state park interpreter with the Ports Program. It's his job to give internet live stream lessons about the nature in the park. Let me uh, show you my amazing view that I have this morning out here on the ocean. As beautiful as this place is, it's also Alec's job to explain the ugly past of Point Lobos. This was a place where they did sea otter hunting, whaling, um, it was uh, an industrial business park. Inside the historic whaler's cabin, you'll learn about the atrocities that humans committed on Point Lobos in the late 1800s. Coal mining, abalone canneries, and deforestation of the rare Monterey Cypress destroyed the ecosystem. But Point Lobos was most known for its whale hunting industry. This is what we call a tripod, where they would render down the whale blubber and make into lamp oil. Before kerosene and electricity, lamps ran off melted animal fat, and melted whale blubber was the most popular. Here, the Carmel Whaling Company slaughtered about 75 whales. The whale hunters at Point Lobos were often immigrants from the Azor Islands near Portugal. They were skilled hunters that harpooned whales in small boats. It was not clean, it wasn't uh, a one shot, then they were killed, it was torture. Until the early 1900s, there were about 16 whaling companies along the Monterey coast. The hunting went on for more than 40 years until cheaper petroleum-based lamp oil put the whalers out of business. There is a huge dent and impact in the whale population worldwide, and to this day, they're still recovering. By the 1920s, a new industry moved into Point Lobos. Hollywood definitely had its impact on Point Lobos, so over 50 movies were filmed here at Point Lobos, including the first million dollar set. That million-dollar set was built for the 1929 film Evangeline, and when it was burned in the movie, it caused a wildfire. It, it burned down several trees and uh, much of the surrounding landscape as well, so it did more damage than they planned on. Following that fire, movie production was limited at Point Lobos. The last Hollywood production permitted to film here was the 1989 Tom Hanks classic, Turner and Hooch. In 2007, the Department of Fish and Game expanded the ecological reserve and renamed the park Point Lobos State Marine Reserve. This gave greater protection to the ecosystem and made it illegal to take a wide range of fish, birds, and marine animals. It's nice to know that a place that was once disrupted and destroyed can return and ascend to such beauty that everyone can enjoy. So I think it's an inspiration for a better future. From the Whaler's Cabin at Point Lobos State Reserve, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.